we're going to talk about clay. This is a bag of recycled clay. There's four logs in here. You'll also find, depending on what's the oldest, bo boxes straight from the manufacturer, and those will be um, big square chunks of clay. Um, recycled clay has its advantages um, because it's, it's older, it's, uh, it's had ability to sit for longer, and it grows um, stuff in there that helps it be more plastic. Plastic is the plasticity is the quality of clay that helps it form into the things you want without cracking. Um, so it can be nice to use this. The manufacturer clay is also uh, nice depending on what you're doing. Larger blocks um, and very well de-aired. Every so often you might find a log of recycled clay that has a little bit of air pockets, which isn't a huge deal because we wedge our clay. But this is in the clay room. It's also where our recycling is. So clay, fresh out the bag, is going to be fairly soft, but not soupy or super, like, it's going to be harder than cream cheese. And it should, ideally, it's not going to gum up to your hands when it's at the right state. It should easily bend without cracking. If the clay seems hard and hard to move, then it might have gotten a little bit hard. If it seems really soft, um, then you might need to wedge it a little to get some of the moisture out. So that's the consistency you want. When after you finish doing what you're doing, even for a little bit, you want to close your clay back up. You don't want it exposed to air because it'll start to get hard again.